That's you right there. You call that your home. Top of the morning to you, Stephen. Top of the morning, Sarah. <laughs> Even though we don't say that here, but it still sounds nice. You say it on the bus every day, though. Oh, of course I, but just for <laughs> I e effect. It's for my dad. <laughs> so Stephen and I are here today at Ashford Castle, and this is a really impressive site near Kong Village, and we're here with our group, and we have treated everybody to coffee and cake. And we're just having a little walk around the castle because Stephen runs his own tours with EssentialIrelandTours.com. And uh, one of his itineraries stays in this incredible castle where Pierce Brosnan got married, Grace Kelly stayed here. Rory McIlroy, the golfer, got married here. Yeah, it's very, yeah. very posh and really beautiful. And he knows all the staff and it's really fun to wander around and see this gorgeous castle. So if staying in a castle is on your wish list, I think Stephen's got you covered, right? Hi, we stay here, uh, our itinerary is called Castles and Classics. And we do overnight here in Ashford Castle and uh, we eat in the dungeon restaurant and we go outside for activities and it's a real nice wow moment for people like it's a nice experience to say they've stayed in, in an ancient castle and this castle has been here since 1229 AD the Burke family who were then called the de Burkas, uh, built it uh, Normans and then the Guinness family lived here would you believe for many hundreds of years so it's had all sorts of characters over the years including uh, Ronald Reagan even stayed here with Nancy back in the day back in the 1980s so it's real nice Irish hospitality since 1229 AD. That's, it's very, very cool. And what we thought we'd do is just walk you guys around and show you, even if you don't plan to come to Ireland, it's pretty fun to see a castle where so many movie stars have gotten married and the Guinness family once, once lived apparently. So let's have a little walk with Stephen around here. Uh, and our group is happily munching around and, and the fall tour, I think we're gonna do a drink here in the castle, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go have a walk around. So enjoy this uh, tour sort of of Ashford Castle. <laughs> it's very quiet in here. <laughs> Those nice uh, creaky floorboards. Yeah. How old is this castle? 1229 AD. Oh, so, what's that? 800 years. 800 years. Let's go out to the garden here for a wee look. My friend Noli. Five 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 from the Philippines, but he's been living here probably ten or fifteen years. His wife uh, turned up at Hotel Overland in Lauterbrunnen about six months ago. So uh Oh, so she works for you now? No, no, she oh, just turned up oh, for a drink. Scared. She was there on holidays, and he oh, texted fair. me saying, my wife's in your Swiss hotel. Oh, that's cool. So I gave her a little, a little drink there on the house. Yeah. This is the cruise, look, where guests can can go out onto Loch Corrib. Oh, it's like a private lake for the oh. hotel? And there's some of these uh, little islands here. I've got monastic sites and other archaeological treasures, and there's a, a captain on board who does a guided tour. It's really good narrative and a good bit of crack and a bit of fun. It's nice and lively. Yeah. And when you say a good bit of crack... I know what that means. Maybe the people watching don't. All right, well, crack is the Irish word. kind of means good fun or gossip and good times all mixed together. Yeah. You can't have bad crack, just good crack. <laughs> wow, you guys, look at this. So, castle castle, if you ever saw one. So, Stephen, to stay here as a regular human being, as a mere mortal, is about, what, $2,000 a night? Prices have gone up dramatically post-pandemic. Uh, I think you can get a room here some nights for maybe thousand euro, maybe fifteen hundred. But certainly, it's gone up a lot. They have a suite called the Ronald Reagan Suite. I think it's about five or six grand. So prices have gone <laughs> dramatically high. Uh, but for some people, I guess that's affordable. For others, that's absurd. But it's uh, certainly got a lot price here. But we managed to on our castles and classics tour to. to go cheaper on other things so we can make it work and it works just nicely but yeah certainly the castle stays are uh, price-wise not for the faint hardy that 
That is a Waterford crystal chandelier, Stephen, yeah? Spectacular. Probably 200 years old. Jeez. <laughs> more luck here in the battle. No, thank you. <laughs> Here's the reception, which is very beautiful and quiet. And then we get to come out here and see the statues of the Irish wolfhounds. Stephen has real ones. Here they have uh, stone ones. <laughs> now, the castle had two nice wolfhounds as well. I think they might be related to Mayans, actually. Oh. I find that they just they just got two new wolfhounds. Well, I haven't seen them. They're only little puppies yet. Yeah. Every every hotel should have two wolf, Irish wolfhounds. Very cool. All right. So to get in here, you have to come to the village of Kong, and then you can drive onto the grounds. But you can't drive onto the grounds unless you are booked at the restaurant or booked into the hotel, right? That's right. Yeah, they've got a understandably a lot stricter in recent years and now it's residents only or people with a reservation but the the gardens and the grounds are open to the public for a fee where they can walk around and explore all the nice new gardens that mrs tolman has done up she's a lady who owns the hotel now and she's from south africa but she owns a collection of hotels called red carnation and they're all over the world south africa london west of ireland and all the staff wear this nice red carnation on their lapel and she's done a really good job here. She even got the clock working. There's a clock tower up there with this clock that hadn't worked in years, and she got the clock working. Thank God. <laughs> and it's even got its own little moat and bridge here. Wow. And there's the excursion boat for the guests. My goodness. So if you have like an Irish castle dream, Ashford Castle is kind of the place to live that dream, right? I remember this is where the Quiet Man was filmed as well back in the 1950s. John Ford, the great Irish-American director, brought uh, John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Victor McLaughlin all here. And it's kind of a big Irish-American classic. I have friends in America, Irish-Americans, who every St. Patrick's Day eat corned beef and cabbage and watch The Quiet Man every year. And I'm just watching over here where the little, the little swans and the ducks. And this is a great river for fishing as well. This is the River Corrib. So that's a little bit about Ashford Castle here in Ireland. So we are near Galway actually. So if you plan a trip to come to Ireland, uh, you'll want to go to Galway and you can do a little day trip if you have your own car. You can also visit Ashford Castle on the Adventures with Sarah Ireland tour or the Essential Ireland Castles and Classics tour where you actually get to sleep in uh, Ashford Castle. So. Yeah, and enjoy a, a dinner or a Irish whiskey in the dungeon. <laughs> or the Prince of Wales bar, even better. See, the thing is, when you take a tour with Stephen and I, you become kind of royalty, don't you? You get to be like a prince or princess. Yeah, I was never a monarchist, however, Sarah, but I'll, I'll go with it in this occasion. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. And you can check out Stephen's tours at EssentialIrelandTours.com. Oh.